Hello, everybody, and welcome to the premiere episode of Wilson Club Gaming. I'm Trent. I'm Captain Fireman. I'm James. And today we're gonna be doing we're gonna be starting a brand new series on Super Mario 3D All Stars. Each one of us are gonna take turns uh, playing through some. We're gonna you know probably ham out a hammer out a few episodes here today. So without further ado, let's just uh, get right into it. Whenever you're ready, Jim. What's everyone's What's everyone's like experience with the 3D Mario's? John, have you played any? Uh, have you? Are you more of a Galaxy guy, or have you? Yeah, played? out of all of these three, I've only played uh, Galaxy. So. All right. So it's gonna be quite the experience for you. Yeah. All right. And uh, I I've played like Sunshine growing up, and then like Galaxy one and two. Uh, I played a little bit of Mario 64, like the DS version. I never played this version. I like watched a bunch of speedruns on it, but so I like know the game, but I never actually personally played it. Yeah. So it's I never exciting. Yeah, I did. I didn't get to play Super Mario 64 until way later. I grew up with Sunshine, and even though it's a game I have a lot of um, I hold dear to my heart because I grew up with it. Going back to it is very very frustrating to play. Um, but I um, you'll you'll see why when we get to Sunshine because I'm gonna be taking over for that part. But uh. Jim, we uh, whenever you do the honors, my friend, you can start us off on this grand adventure for yep. Super Mario 64. We're doing the 3D All Stars version, which um, a lot of people, a lot of people have very divided opinions on the 3D All Stars. Yeah, well, I don't know what your opinion is on that or not. Um, I did hear it got better. Um, they added like GameCube controller support for Sunshine, which oh, that. It's actually pretty sick. That I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they added that. I hope they did, because uh, it's very weird to play Sunshine uh, with the dual trigger system. So, John, have you have you uh, seen like Let's Plays of this game yet, or not? Uh, I have not, actually. So this is like brand new to you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, so this is going to be quite the fun adventure. Well, I should take that back. I have seen like little bits and pieces like with the penguin and all that, so... But I haven't seen like full-on gameplay of it. Well, today's going to be fun. Let me just uh, stream that a little bit so I can see. This was like revolutionary back in the day, but like looking back, part of me is kind of disappointed they didn't refine it a little bit for the 3D port. Like right. some of the heads up display graphics look a little smoother and nicer. But um, it's like um, when the original Super Mario All Stars came out, they gave 16 bit upgrades to all the games that were on that. And this one literally looks like it's still on the N64, which a lot of people are like. That I think a lot of people are like good. It kind of preserves the natural charm of the game. But for me, I would have liked to see, like maybe they do an upscale version of the DS version of Super Mario 64. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. And it's amazing to see like how far graphics have come. Yeah, from, for like, sure. These uh, like polygram or whatever. Yeah, I think I read somewhere that it's like uh, back when they first designed Mario's model, it wasn't one solid shape for his arms. You can see his like two different polygons holding right. up his arms right there. Yeah, and it's like a lot that, like it, it's very weird to think. That, it's like well, it, that's actually how a lot of models are today. You just they're blended a little bit better, so you don't see that. Yeah, and it's like, um, you know, this game does have some quirks. I don't know if it's like. I don't know if they removed some of those quirks from the 3D All-Stars port. From my uh, experience, I've not noticed anything different. But um, in certain segments, when Mario gets farther away from the camera, it's um, it looks a little... He like goes into like very low-poly, low-texture kind of mode to like save on space. Mm -hmm. So it's just like little quirks and charms like that. I don't think the ghosts are here yet. Yeah. So... Just trying to get used to the controls. Yeah. It's... Well, Oh, okay. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, that's... I would say some... Oh, my gosh. If I could talk. Uh, some games still kind of look like this when they're trying to render in. I know a lot of people would agree with me if they play Sea of Thieves. That's what happens a lot, especially if you're lagging. Then the game starts to turn into this. I've made the joke before that, uh... Oh, I'm on a Mario 64 island when, uh... <laughs> when Sea of Thieves starts to glitch on me, that's just because the game looks like this. So... Some of these techniques are still used yeah. when trying to render. So a lot of the moves from this game we carried over into other ones, except for Mario punching and kicking. I think this is um, outside of Smash Brothers. This is the only time he's done that. I think into. so. Yeah. yeah. And it's like this is. It's not the first time Charles Martinet voices Mario in the games. I think he did like a like a like a PC game, 
It was like a... It was like a paint game or something? I don't... It was something like that. I think I it was like... What it was. Mario... I want to say Mario teaches typing, but I'm not sure. But I know that's where the floating Mario head comes from, is that Mario teaches typing. Except in that one, he seems ten times scarier. <laughs> what is that? Water bombs, dude. No, there's a skip to get that bomb, or that uh, star early. Yeah. Uh, the one behind the cage, or... Yeah. Yeah, if you just if you just hammer down his post right now. You can also get all eight red coins. That's one of the things I love about this game that I'm glad they brought back for games like Super Mario Odyssey in the future. Is like, the levels are very open. It's not like level to level, kind of like... In Super Mario Sunshine, it's more like, you're driving to a level, here's your objective. But in this game, uh, it was more like, you're driving to a level, we're gonna... There's this one star we want you to get, but you can also get other stars along the way if you'd like. Which I'm always a fan of. I might do the red, red coins, actually. Well, if yeah. I remember correctly, that was kind of the same case for uh, Super Mario Galaxy with, like, the green stars. Yeah, they kind of revisited that. But I think Galaxy's kind of linear on the fact that it's like, you dropped into the level, this is the one star that, like, that the level's designed around that's going to have you go get. And you can't really, like, explore too much or anything. Right. So, like, they kind of did something similar uh, with some early stars in Mario Sunshine, where you can get them out of intended sequence. Right. In fact, something I discovered recently, which I thought wasn't which I thought they added oh for this God. version mm. was um uh the the very start of Bianco Hills which is the first level of sunshine you get that you get the uh the one where you fight Petey Piranha early instead of uh you go out of sequence on that one which I guess they put in there because they realized players would still be used to kind of like exploration from Mario 64 yeah uh, yeah I think they do that in the speed run for sunshine where they like fight Petey Piranha first yeah and they'll even, like, there's even a, uh, like, a NPC at the top of the windmill who's like, hey, you're not supposed to be here yet, or whatever. And it's like, they, they thought of everything. It's a little, little cute little nod. <laughs> we might have to revisit this level, maybe, in the future for, I don't know if you've ever heard of the, the Green Demon Challenge, James? I have not. Uh, in one of the trees up near the, the cannon, which is, like, um, on your way to the, up to the chomp, there's, like, a, a tree that will grant you a one-up, and it will follow you around until, like, uh, you collect it. But basically, um, you're trying to collect all eight red coins before the the, tr the, the one-up can catch you. I believe it's the one... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll revisit that in another... Well, maybe we'll come back to that in a later episode or something, but... Yeah, basically, it's kind of like an unofficial challenge. Like, you're supposed to collect all eight red coins before the one-up catches you and chases you around like a, like a green demon, which is where the name comes from. Oh, you can just get it. Okay. Yeah. It's been so fun. We have sh star number one. There it is. First <sighs> star of many. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Uh, it's going to be a long... Give me a long one, this one. I don't know. Do you, uh, you want to try 100% or do you just want to go for completion? I'll just do completion because... Uh, I might change my mind later, but we'll just we'll see how it goes, I guess. Yeah. We covered one of the stars, and now we can open up different doors throughout the castle. Yeah, I could try something else. Yeah. I know some people like to change it up. Some people like will just complete one entire world before going somewhere else. And it's like, you know, go out of sequence, you know? D d dare to... Dare to be adventurous, you know? Forgot what this one is. Oh, okay. Launch I know this one. I just had to see it. <laughs> one of the things that never made sense to me in, like, Super Mario Galaxy is, like, how tiny the planets are. Like, yeah, sure, for, like, the actual gameplay, and I understand from, like, game development, point but in universe imagine if you're just living on the tiny planet and that's all you ever had yeah yeah that would be kind of unfortunate but <laughs> i mean i guess it's like if you had an actual planet to explore in super mario galaxy that game would be super long yeah i know i'm just saying just imagine you were an npc though and that's all yeah. you had my entire income is based off this one tiny planetoid yeah Well, there we go. First death. <laughs> I thought there was ground underneath there. See you later. Uh, I'll do the other one. Alright. <laughs> this level scorned us. We're not coming back for a while. Yep. You pulled, a, you pulled an Aaron from Game Grumps. I think he's done that before. Oh, really? He just slides <laughs> off. Yeah, there he is. Punch him. He's got the moves. Not much of a reach, though. Yeah. One-two kick. Oh, yeah, he's a little stubby guy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I got the last one. Yeah, so now you just gotta get the rest. Do you remember the, um... 
the uh, Nintendo leak that confirmed that that one like it was rumored before this game came out. It was rumored after the game came out, I should say, that Luigi was uh, originally supposed to be in it, but no one ever officially confirmed it. And yeah. then Nintendo did like a leak and revealed that Luigi had files in the game, but he got scrapped at last minute. I don't think that was Nintendo that did that. I think um, people that like to go out of bounds and all that found the Luigi model in there. Because a lot of them like to go in files to look for, like, lore of games and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I guess the original plan was to have this be, like, a co-op game, but, like, there was just not enough mem like, not, not a lot of uh, memory space to make it happen. Right. So Lu Luigi got cut, and there's no mention of him. No matter what that fountain in the, uh, the, the back of the castle might tell you, which a lot of people think says L is real, but it's just a blurry texture. Right. It could say anything. In fact, that same texture was used in, uh, I want to say, Major um... Ocarina of Time in Zelda. Oh, interesting. But, yeah. Here we go. Uh, for our first boss battle. But I use that in loose quotes considering he can't really hurt you unless he throws you off the mountain. But, uh, Here he is. Yeah, the low poly. <laughs> the big bob -omb, lord of all blasting matter. King of kabooms the world over. I guess I'm reading now. How <laughs> dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think you cannot. Why does he... I, I like how he just tells you how to beat him. <laughs> it's, like if, it's like if Ganon uh, handed Link the Master Sword right before they duped it out. Or it's like if... Um, it's like if uh, Ridley handed Samus like a plasma cannon or something. Well, he got me. Yep. I don't actually know how to f like, get him or something. Uh, you gotta go. He literally told you how to beat him, dude. You gotta but go from. I don't from... Like, know what control it is. Uh, I think you just punch to like pick him up from behind. Oh, there we go. But he'll start turning around faster and faster, so you just gotta be careful. Oh, so he can hurt you. I've been mistaken. Oh, he got oh. me. <laughs> he got you. I'm like so used to seeing the speed run. It's just like... It's almost like... Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there's, there's gravity in this game? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. You can't fall. Uh, ground pound before you... Uh, ground, pound, ground pound before you hit the ground and won't uh, hurt as bad. Oh, okay. Luckily, he threw you into some coins the first time, so it didn't hurt too bad. You can also run past that heart, and depending on how fast you run through it, it'll recharge all your health. You're learning, John. Come on, buddy. I think the boss fight resets. Now that, yeah. He threw you off the mountain, and now that the boss fight resets, you gotta throw him three times again. You can just throw him straight off? No, he'll... If you throw him off the mountain, he'll be like, oh, disqualification or whatever, and, you yeah. know... Which you'd think that'd be the most logical thing to do, is throw him off the mountain. But no, you just gotta throw him three times in general. A little misleading. Would've been cooler, but... Okay, now I get it. There you go. One more. Close Unfortunately. Hands. It turns like lightning. Oh, no, never mind. I guess not. Just gotta juke him. It might be... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I skipped the first one, then I realized... <laughs> That's so whatever. Just, we'll just we don't it. need... It, people have played this game before. It's like... Yeah. yeah. It was like 1996. <laughs> no one plays Mario for the story. We all know this. The story's all the same, anyways. Yeah, Peach is, uh, Peach is kidnapped by Bowser. That's about it. Yeah. I mean, there's some games that like stray away from that, but... Yeah. Or Peach is stuck inside the castle or something. Yeah. Just go again, boys. Yep, we go again. Take three. That's a go. Here we go, Koopa the Quick. Oh, okay. I just have to beat him. Yeah. Okay. You just, just go ahead. I'm not gonna. We don't have to read. It's like, yeah. I'm not doing. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be a while if we. You know, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna do voices and everything. I like not how a long jump. Oh, that's uh, a long jump. That's not a okay. long jump. <laughs> See how before I there you go. There he goes again. <laughs> I like how he calls you if you use a cannon, he'll call you out for cheating. But oh, yeah. at, at the same time he won't admit to cheating because he can go places you can't and just run up much easier. 
Which I think he's about to go do, I don't know. Dirty cheater. I know, right? He's such a hypocrite. There I go. <laughs> I mean, you are... You're outstanding. I, I have, like... I think the last play, game I played was, like, Galaxy, so I'm, like, used to that. Hmm. Galaxy's a little floatier, kind of, compared to this one. Yeah, this one's, like, more... I don't know how to describe it. There it goes again. <laughs> They were just trying to figure things out for this game, you know. Yeah. They also bring they bring they really like their racers because they bring back a lot of racing uh, people in the future, like Il Piantissimo or the Cosmic Clones or something like that. Mm, yeah. Where's this sh it's schmuck? <laughs> no, Absolute not, schmuck. I know. I call it call him Koopa the slow. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just punch and okay. kick. The one two kick. So see, seeing this down, does this like uh, incur any interest to maybe play this game? With oh, he ran up behind you. He was about to, he was about to sneak attack you. He'd be like, I can't give you the prize if you're not awake. Yeah. <laughs> Comes up with a rage. Yeah. <laughs> Just no one has to know. <laughs> no witnesses. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, does this um, incur any interest in you to maybe play this game? Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's like tons of PC emulators out there that can run this game smoother with mods and stuff. Oh, nice. That's what, that's what Levi did for his review of the game. Uh, low poly Levi episode one, check it out. But my cousin did a really good job, and he's like, he's still in like, I think he's in like third grade, but he did like a good job. Not third grade, he's not that young. I don't know. It's something hey, like that. Children all look the same, let's just admit yeah. it. <laughs> well, what's this one? I didn't see. Uh, I think it, I'll, I'll tell you the title of the mission uh, if you pause, I believe. I think I'll just do this. Alright, red coins. It'll do. I do. I, I think you need to unlock the, the wing cap, though, for like specific missions in this level. Oh, so yeah. I think after this start, maybe you'll be able to get the wing cap. A ding. I know at least like five locations, so. What is there, it? They just put two right next to each other, right? It's, it's like, ah, screw it, just put it right there. Yeah. It, it's a game for kids, who's gonna care? You know, what the... I know I talked about this earlier, but, like, the fact that it is a compilation pack, and it's, like, supposed to be, like, a like a moment, like an anniversary kind of thing. Yeah. The fact that kind of gave it a limited release, and was like, we're gonna take it out of all stores after, like, a certain time. It was like, that kind of soured me on the whole, it's supposed to be celebrating the anniversary... It's, yeah. And also, it's like, if you are celebrating Mario's anniversary, why not give, like, a little bells and whistles to, like, some games, you know? Extra little things. Right. And while, it, I, while like, it's like, you finally get a HD expansion of a HD port of Super Mario Sunshine, which they, they hadn't uh, done a port of that game ever since it came out, so it's often forgotten. While I am glad to get, like, a new version of Sunshine, I would have liked to have some, like, you know, at little additions. Maybe, like, add Luigi into Mario 64 or soften up textures or something. Or make the cutscenes in Sunshine skippable, which uh, I'm going to have a field day with that when we get to that. Because one of my biggest complaints about the game is the fact you can't skip cutscenes. Hmm. And they go on forever. <laughs> Especially considering everyone in that game has a voice except Mario. That's kind of strange. I never realized that, actually. <laughs> yeah. So there's, oh, like, God. actual voice acting in that? Yeah. Uh, even Bowser has a voice. But it doesn't sound like Bowser. He sounds like a grumpy middle-aged dad. Yeah, he does, yeah. Junior, I got something to tell you, my boy. I want to throw around the pigskin. So it's not them just, like, making noises while the captions are coming up? They're actually talking? No, there's actually... Yeah, there's cut, full-on voice acting cutscenes. Huh. Oh, I've never oh seen, my gosh. I've never seen any of the characters talk. Yeah, you, you just hear, like, little grunts and everything. Yeah. Oh, I think I know where that last red coin is. Jim. I think it's on that floating island over there. Can't you get into this? Uh, no. I, if you go back down to the base of the mountain, there's like a pink ba -bomb. Oh, did you want to do that? Oh, never mind. It worked out. Uh, talk to the first pink ba -bomb you see. I think he'll open up the cannons for you, so you'll be able to get up there. Nice. Isn't there one over here? From this first episode alone, we, uh, we can already get a few moments with the fail compilation. <laughs> the inevitable fail Oh, comp okay. There's this guy. Oh, okay. I was like, why are those just, like, graphics of a pink bomb on there? Because you gotta talk to him to open it up, man. He's, he's friendly. 
Although it is kind of messed up that they made the pink bo- they made the pink bombs friendly and the black bombs are the the, the the villains. Oh no! I know oh, it's no. the nineties, but come on. <laughs> well, you better start making your apology video right now. Yeah. Oh okay. No, I mean, that just, was a lot it, lower. It would, I would have had to make an apology if um <laughs> if I made a joke on it. Like it's like. I'm a pink bomb. I'm nice. I like those black ones. They're like, no, no. I, well, now I'm gonna have to make it a, a pause yeah, video. <laughs> but uh, no, I was just making commentary. You know, Ooh, that's gonna get it. Not even. No. It's definitely. There's another. Not there's get another cannon on top of that stone thing. If you want to use that. I was expecting it to be like the sun or the galaxy bot or uh, cannons, because oh yeah, the little stars. Yeah. Because those go like straight. Yeah. Forward. You can accidentally shoot yourself out of the level if you're not careful. <laughs> Luckily, there's invisible walls in this game. Ain't gotta worry about that. How did I dodge that? <laughs> You're a ninja, dude. You got the skills. You the broke. skills, the kills. You broke its non-existent ankles. <laughs> you juked him, just like you did with a uh, uh, King Babam. I did juke him, pretty good. All right, you should be able to use this cannon now. The uh, yes. there's one up ahead. Oh, okay. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. I'm still sad that Charles Martinet is not going to voice Mario in the Mario movie. That's really that silly. I always they said he was going to make a special appearance. I'm like, why not have him play Mario if he's already voicing Mario in the games? It's already it's a perfect fit. Instead, you got Chris Pratt, which I mean, he is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You can't you can't take that away from him. He's very cool. Chris Pratt. I, I mean. one of the characters I do <laughs> totally like one hundred percent agree with is the casting for Donkey Kong. Seth Rogen. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. I like Anya Taylor Joy as Peach. I think that's a good. Trick. Yeah. I've never heard her voice before, so I had to like look up videos of like roles she did just so I could hear it, just to kind of get what Peach would sound like. I'm not sure if I agree or not, to be honest. Yeah, I, I actually, I recently saw her in um, Last Night in Soho, the Edgar Wright movie. Yeah. I, I, actually really good. Um, she looked like Peach in that movie, like, because it's a live action movie. It's okay. so, like, I could see it. Yeah. I know uh, Bo, who I do the podcast with, he's a huge Anya Taylor-Joy fan, so I know he's excited to hear. But like, Charlie Day is the Luigi, Jack Black is Bowser. Chris Pratt is Mario. And Keegan-Michael Key is Toad, of all people. And it's like, I don't know how it's going to work. Because they already said they're not going to do accents or, like, voices or anything. So well, they're just going to do their own voices? Yeah. Okay. So Kiko Michael Key's not going to be... He's not going to walk up to the microphone and be like, HELLO! <coughs> Gosh, that voice. <laughs> I can't do the Toad voice for too long. HELLO! Chris Pratt said he's doing a voice for it. Is he? Yeah. Because he made a joke video going, It's a me. Mario. In the exact voice. In his own voice. And he's like, just kidding. That's not the voice I'm doing for Mario. Mm -hmm. You better not. It might, it kind of, the way you said that reminded me of this joke trailer that I believe um, IGN put out. They used like a like a GTA mod launcher to like make yeah. people in Liberty City look like Mario characters. Yeah. And it was like it was supposed to be like a gritty trailer for a realistic Mario. Yeah. And uh, one of the one of the scenes goes, "Who is it? It's me, Mario." <laughs> it's it's funny other than the fact that it's like it's Hollywood down to a T because yeah. they'll take a silly little game and they'll make it super serious yeah there is one YouTube video I've watched it a while ago I forget what it's called but it was like a really gritty Mario fan film it was good too oh, was do Mario story? Warfare? Or... maybe I think that's what it was called Mario Warfare I think it was yeah I watched that too it was really good yeah and then the, like at the end to like, to be, like the ending was uh, Mario appearing in the first game. Yeah, that Mario worked. Oh, 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 wow! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I would have had to add that up to the fail count. All right, uh, I think we're gonna call this part an episode. But uh, don't worry, we're gonna be recording a few more today, so stick around. But until then, I'm Trent. I'm Captain Pirate Man. I'm Jimmy. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>